Well, what's up guys? It's your boy, Mad and Mike. Today we're at my brother's house and we're about to lay down some white paint on his truck. I'm here with my dad, that's my brother, and we're gonna show you guys how to do a cheap paint job, Rust-Oleum paint job, for under $100. So stay tuned, check it out. Woo! Woo! So what we're doing now is just scuffing up the car. What you're gonna wanna do is get all the edges because that's where the paint is gonna peel off if you don't sand that down good. So make sure to scuff it up real good. In our case, we're just using some SOS pads and we're just getting rid of the shine. So you can see right there you got shine and once you scuff it down, it takes that shine away. Right, right? Get rid of the shine. And if you do nice long strokes like that too, when you paint it, you won't see all wavy scratch marks. You want nice straight long lines. Atta boy. We got uh, my good buddy Spencer just showed up. Welcome to the vlog, buddy. Woo. Yeah. Time to eat. Oh yeah. We gotta keep that energy going for all the sanding. This is the question, guys. That's his YouTube channel. Go follow him. Yeah, buddy. Should we blow it off? You want to blow it off? Should we blow it off? I think you should blow it off, Let's Spence. Blow it off. Yeah, blow it off. All right, boys and girls, I think we're ready to mask off the windows now. So we just picked up some standard ho 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 Christmas special wrapping paper. So we'll go ahead and make sure all the windows are taped up fully. The whole entire car has been scuffed down with some sandpaper. We're doing this on the cheap. It's gonna be a budget paint job. So yeah, keeping it under $100. Let's get to masking. What are we doing, Steve? Masking. I'm masking. <laughs> Guys, we've got the car almost all masked off. Next stage is mixing up the paint and getting ready to set up the compressor and spray down the paint. Spray the down the paint. Spray down the paint. Spray down you know, the paint. Here we're not we're not perfectly formulated in sentences here, um, but we're gonna just wing it and go with the flow, you know. Yeah. So what are we using here, Spencer, for a spray gun? We got us a what is this like an HVLP down feed gun or something? Yeah, it looks like a downfeed gun. Yeah, you know, this is your basic uh, downfeed gun. You can pick that up from Harbor Freight for you Americans out there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be using the downfeed gun. We got us some Rust-Oleum trim clad white. What is it, Rick? Oh! So 
what you want to do, guys, is, you know, get the hat cloth out, start wiping. Just keep wax on, wax on, really. Is that, is that the correct way to do it, boys? Yeah, you gotta wax off. Wax on, wax off, right? Tack on, tack off. Yeah, tack on, tack off. <laughs> tack on, tack off, boys. <laughs> Guys, so we're ready to lay down some paint onto the car. We got our Rustoleum, but in Canada it's called Tremclad. It's pretty much the same product. This cost us $50. This was like another $20 for this. So we're under $100 for all the paint. So basically, we got our HVLP downfeed gun ready. Uh, we're gonna mix up our paint inside of this little mixing cup here. Grab your mixing stick, and we're gonna do the seven second rule. So you're gonna wanna mix up your paint, and then we're gonna do a drip test. So we're gonna put a stick on an angle, and we're gonna watch the drips coming off. So after about seven seconds, that should be the right thinning. Consistency. That should be about the right consistency. Viscosity. viscosity. That should be about the right viscosity that you're gonna want. So we'll pay attention to our drip rate. We're gonna want a seven second rule. And basically, you're gonna wanna load it up into your gun, do some spraying. You're gonna wanna, you know, get your fan to the right pattern. But we're gonna wing it, guys. We're just gonna go with it. It's Christmas, you know, whatever. <laughs> just wing it, it's Christmas. So, you're gonna wanna get a screwdriver, open up your paint. So we're just gonna use the mixing cup here. We're just gonna pour a bunch of paint into it and get our seven second drip. Um, that's usually what I like to do. It might be different depending on what tip you're using on your gun. With this one here, we got a 1.4 tip. That's the diameter of the opening. So, you know, depending on that, your mix ratio might be different. So let's go ahead and mix this up. So you're gonna wanna start with a, a little bit, start. You're gonna make a mess, don't worry about it. So to show you guys what I'm talking about, the drip ratio, make sure you get all the hair off the end of the stick. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, this is pure paint. And if I drip it off the stick, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You see how it's continuing to stream? We want to thin that down. So by grabbing some paint thinner, you can get reducer. That's the professional stuff. But we're doing this on the budget, DIY, home builder style. So you're just gonna want to add a little bit of thinner at a time. Eyeball it. Mix it up. And the more you mix it up, the more thinner you add, you'll get the uh, viscosity going. Stir, stir, stir. Just want to splash it everywhere. Make sure you wear your safety glasses and your safety uh, gloves. <laughs> and a mask. Make sure you wear The mask is in the frame. <laughs> Let's do another quick drip test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go, it's starting to drip now. So we'll start off with that. We can thin it off when it's in the gun. Trevor, you're a uh, professional finisher. Do you have any recommendations? Spray. So basically what we're gonna do now, guys, we're gonna load it into our gun. Um, you should start off with a piece of cardboard or if you have an old piece of wood where you can get your fan going on. You're gonna wanna stay about 12 inches away from the vehicle when you're spraying it. So you want a steady fan pattern. So we're gonna load up the paint inside the gun. We're gonna see how it comes out. We'll thin it down some more if we need to. So let's go ahead, load it into the gun, see how it comes out. Cut.
<laughs> yes. You got the wrapping paper. You got the Christmas hat. There you go. What do I do? Just What's spray it. masking tape here and we got ourselves a run so a little trick of the trades is you grab some masking tape and once the paint starts to get a little tacky you can just droop it over top of your run like that and then if you peel it back it peels off your run so when you start spraying again everything gets level tricks of the trade boys Let's try this one see that run lay it on top lightly tap it and it should peel everything out. Still a little wet, so if you let it tack up a little bit more, it'll be even better. Just get a ding, just get a skank, skank. I you just want to Recording oh, oh, no well, we left that running a little long. No wonder it's always full and yeah. dead. <laughs> well, boys, that's the end of the paint job. We found us a couple of runs. We'll sand them out tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. A ciao, ciao. Yep.